Welcome to another segment of Tea with Coco. So, I will be spilling the tea on a five-star hotel in Paris, France. And this time I am name dropping a country because I am super pissed about this and I have not experienced anything like this in Paris before. This was my fourth trip to Paris and it was the worst. So um, you may have seen the video I posted about Walt Disneyland Paris. Those two days I had at Walt Disneyland were paradise but in actual Paris, France it was not. And this is an incident that happened to me. I'm not going to mention the name of the hotel, but feel free to try and figure out which hotel this is. It shouldn't be all that difficult. So here I am, Paris, France, walking from the Trocadero Gardens, which has a nice view of the Eiffel Tower, to the Arc de Triomphe. And I'm feeling better about Paris, even though I had some things happen, which I can go into later. Uh, I've had a nice crepe. And here I am walking by a five-star hotel. The streets are empty, which seemed to be typical after the terrorist attacks. And the only people I see on the street are security guards at a five-star hotel that's on the street from Trocadero Gardens to the Arc de Triomphe. So just walking down the street, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And then I hear someone say in French, what I believe I heard was Jew and a bunch of laughter. And so I'm like, what? Wait, what? Like, WTF, <laughs> what? And I turn around and this man who is a security guard in uniform at this five star freaking hotel says again in French, Jew, and starts laughing. And there were a couple of other security guards standing out there as well. They didn't say anything. This guy was distinctive from the other employees because he had a different skin pigmentation. So I was like, oh, like, if I am or not Jewish, who cares? If I am or not any other ethnicity or religion, who freaking cares? And that is ridiculously mind-blowing behavior from an employee, especially of an upscale establishment. So at this point I'm tempted to walk back, go into the hotel and complain, but then I was like, ugh, whatever, just don't even think about it. So I walk to the Arc de Triomphe, I get some more photos there, <laughs> in addition to the ones I've had in the past, and then I go to a cafe on the Chaz de Lace, which is the street the Arc de Triomphe is on. And I'm kind of stewing about this at this point, and I'm like, no, this behavior, I am not allowing this man to get away with this ridiculous racist bullshit behavior as an employee of an establishment. So I start crafting this email, I find the address of the hotel to send them an email, and I send them basically this email that was talking about the incident and basically racist shaming them, saying, I don't know if your establishment supports anti-Semitism or racism, but this behavior is completely unacceptable. And I asked for it to be forwarded to a manager. So it ended up being forwarded to, let's just call him Mr. Le Pew, the security manager. And at first he apologized for the incident says, oh no, we don't have any racist behavior that's accepted, we don't have these views, blah blah, whatever. And then an inquisition starts about, excuse me, tell me exactly what entrance of the hotel you were at, what time, what were you wearing, blah blah blah. So I sent him this email back that uh, between these hours I was wearing this, the security guard, Obviously, I've already described him to you and shouldn't be too hard to figure out considering he had a unique skin pigmentation compared to everyone else you have working for you. And <clears throat> so basically, after a couple back and forth, he says, yes, I have found you on our videotape security cameras and I've spoken with this person.
Wilson that he was very shocked by these claims you have made and he said he did say something to you but it was not what you claim it was. What? There is no other freaking word in French or almost any other language that even remotely sounds like Jew. So excuse me sir. So I write him back and I said, I'm sorry, I do speak a little bit of French despite the fact that I am writing to you in English and I have a friend who is from France and I have consulted with her and asked her if she can think of any possible word that sounds like that. And she even asked her grandmother if she knew of any words that sound like this. And the answer is no. So, basically, I made it a little more professional. I said, I do speak French. I know there's no word that sounds like this. And could you please tell me exactly what word does he claim or what phrase does he claim? He said to me, literally no freaking response. So it's like, obviously, you know this is what happened and his ass should be in the trash can. Goodbye. But, didn't happen. So, I ended up emailing a corporation that owns a huge chunk of this hotel. And I write them exactly what happened. I forward them these emails. And the lady who responded was a little dense and thought that they were still investigating what exactly happened. I think she only read the first couple of emails that I sent her. But then she goes on to tell me, get this, the owner of this corporation and his family who live in Asia somewhere, I'll let you figure out where, are Jewish. What? Boom chicken, what? So, I hope this owner, despite the fact that I know my email never reached him, will think about the anti-Semitic racist pieces of shit they have working at the hotel. Well, that was really negative spilling the tea, but it just shows you racist assholes are everywhere, and apparently after the terrorist attacks in France, these dirty ass racists feel like they can say shit.